Hi guys, how you doing? This is video diary number 22, 22, right? Oh, today's May 9th. See, yesterday in my video, I said it was May 7th, and it was actually May 8th, and today is May 9th. You know, tomorrow's May 10th. Nothing matters, though, because it's just May 10th, a regular Thursday, you know, go to school, wake up, come home, eat, sleep, regular day. Okay, so, um, today was a boring day. I slept through, like, oh my god, I was so tired. Like, I slept so much. It was ridiculous. And, of course, I'm eating. I'm eating pasta. Well, spaghetti. You know, Dominican spaghetti. My mom made me. And... Today, my, um, my, um, my grandma's being discharged from the hospital, and she's coming home here. We're going to take care of her, so I'm excited. And Barbara's here. She's, like, on the computer. She's Hi, there. guys. She's right there. Look at that. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so today was, like, uh, I don't know. It was just one of those days where it was not a good day. It, it wasn't a good day, but it no, it wasn't a good day. I'm not even going to lie. It was not a good day at all. So, um, yeah. The lesson of the day is, um, don't make a promise if you can't keep it. I hate it when people do that to me. I don't care if you're a boyfriend. I don't care if you're a friend. I don't care if you're, like, my parent, my sister, wh whoever you are, and you have a, some sort of relationship with me. Or, like, if you have a relationship with other people, if you say you're going to do something, then do it. Because then when you don't, like, when you keep, like, backing out and you keep, like, not showing up for stuff, like, people start to lose trust. They don't, your word doesn't really mean anything because you never follow through on it. So, people just stop, like, you know, like, believing you when you say you're going to do something. Ew, I don't like olives. So, Yeah. Always keep your promise. Always. Because I hate it. And then people wonder why, like, oh, um, why she gets so mad and whatever. But I wouldn't have expectations if you wouldn't have agreed to it. You could have been like, oh, maybe I'm going to come, maybe not. But when you tell me, yes, like, I'm going to see you today or I'm going to, like, you know, something like that, don't break through your promise. Like, I feel, I've, I, my past relationships, like, I feel like I've, I was spoiled in my last relationship. So, like, any time a guy does something wrong now, it's just like, I notice it and I'm like, no, that's not the standard. So, any guy, it's like, the standard is really, really high. Like, I don't care. Like, I have no remorse and I don't care. Like, if you do something I don't like, then that's it. Then I don't like it and you're done. Unless you fix it and you redeem yourself, then I don't care. But I'm not going out my way for anyone anymore because people just walk all over you and they just take advantage of you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just do me. And if you don't like it, then that's too bad. And if you want to roll with me, if you want to be my friend, if you want to be in my circle, then that's fine. But once you start bringing me down and once you start disappointing me, then that's it. You're out. Because I'm tired of being there for people and having them just take advantage of me. Like, no, I'm not having that anymore. So, right. yeah, that's another thing. Like, so don't, don't, also don't, don't even take your friends for granted. Like, sometimes your friends are always there for you. Like, realize that they're always there for you, like, no matter what. Those are your true friends. Exactly. When people are so talking shit about you and stuff, like, and they're still there for you, mm -hmm. you know that's a real friend. And we all know that we've had so many people tell us that they love us and they care about us. But how come when you count, you can only count those people on one hand. You don't even reach two hands, not even half a hand. Your, your high school friends are the most fake Yeah, friends. exactly. What Barbara just said, high school friends are the fakest. And the relationships are the fakest. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, it's sickening, the shit that I see mm -hmm. in high school. So, oh yeah. And shout out to Kathy. 
Yes! Oh my god, I Shut. love you, and I love the pictures you posted on Facebook. Yeah, we saw, we and Barbara saw your, um, the collages you made of her, and, like, we was, like, tearing. I was like, oh my god, you guys are, like, the cutest best friends <laughs> ever. And Barbara misses you, and we know yes. you miss her, so don't worry, you guys will be reunited soon. <laughs> we see each other every day in school, but, <laughs> but still. A couple of hours is just too much. Yeah. Yeah. So... I hope you have a good day, guys, and just keep your head up and always look out for yourself. Look at, take care of yourself first before you take care of other people, because then you can take care of them the right way. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.